for those in the audience getting to know you for the very first time, yeah, who is Trey Bills? Man, so Trey Bills, man, I feel like I'm a mogul for real. Well, not a mogul, but I would say honestly a trendsetter. I feel like um, I've been around doing social media for years uh, since I was in high school. So that's 10 plus years now. Um, a decade of me really just staying consistent and doing what I love to do as far as creating content and, um, you know, being um, kind of like having having that social media presence. Um, Trey Bills of now, um, had, a, a lot has changed. Um, I'm more, you know, focused on my music now, of course, because, you know, I, I feel like that's just a way that people can live through me, um, through my voice. Um, but music and i'm also very like from the time that you've met me before um uh, to now like fashion sense like i feel like my iq for the fashion is just on a whole nother level with the people that i've been around um has definitely opened my vision up and um hopefully soon i'll be able to you know release some of my own products but uh right now you know i just been uh blessed enough to be around people who have that Fashion IQ, like my bro uh, Brandon, you know, got his brand or whatever, um, dope brand. It's just like surrounding myself around people who are, you know, kind of got the like light minded as me. Um, so a lot of a lot has I'm very mature now. So, but if, if you're just now meeting me, I would definitely say that you know um, I'm a trendsetter, um, just looking to leave behind um, a name for myself and a legacy that will last forever. Be that as it may, what is the biggest misconception of you at this point? Um, I feel like the biggest conception that may be of me right now is that um, a lot of people are asleep on me right now um, solely because I kind of fell back from you know social media for a while. Um, due to just, you know, me going through life um, and really just trying to refigure out, um, you know, my approach and what my purpose is. Um, but, you know, uh, I feel like a lot of people are sleeping on me, so they think I haven't been working, but it's all good, you know, because sooner or later they're going to have to wake up and um, they're going to realize that, you know, all this time I, I, I really just been, you know, putting the pieces together to the puzzle, so. Have you lost opportunities because of that misconception? Yeah, um, I would say that, but you know, I feel like whatever lost opportunity it was, it wasn't for me, or maybe it wasn't the right timing for it. So, you know, the man above, God knows all. So, you know, he, I feel like he won't give me nothing that I'm not ready for. So that's just, you know, I don't feel like it's a lost opportunity. I feel like it's just something that may not have been for me at, the, at that time. Cause I feel like everything is about timing, so. And now I want to reference a few things with you that you mentioned here in this portion of questions. Mm -hmm. uh, high school. Care to share the high school you attended? Uh, Heritage High School. Care to share your current age at this point? So I'm 27 at this point. You know what I'm saying? I'm still young. But uh, things starting to really make sense in life to me. Um, so that's why I really um, initially took the break that I did, you know, just on some mental, um, you know, just backtracking and getting things back into order in my life. Um, but yeah, I'm 27, 28 um, in August. And care to share your birthday, the month and the day? Yeah, August 25th. How long was this break of yours? Um, I would say, I would really say, I would say like a year. I would, I would, I would say a year. And it's slowly but surely I've been getting back in the groove of things. Um, and I feel like a lot of people don't really be understanding it sometimes because it's just like, yo, you got this platform and you got this, but it's just like, whenever your mind isn't right, you know what I mean? And your mental isn't all the way there. It's hard to really, um, kind of just progress with things that, you know, if you're not happy, you can't really, um, put forth your, your all into things, you know what I mean? Uh, cause it's hard, you know what I mean? So, you know, that's why, you know, I, I, I pray for those that are going through, you know, um, mental health and stuff like that. Cause you know, like mental health is, you know, 
is worth more than to me mental health is worth more than money anything that people can buy like materialistic things because if a person is unhappy nothing can make them happy so it's just like you know you gotta find happiness stay prayed up and keep a positive mindset so i would say it, it was really like a year for me though i had to take a year to really just step back and just be like all right let me take a deep breath let me get things back in order in my life, you know what I'm saying? Cause I felt like I was going on a on a on a downward spiral, you know what I'm saying? So mentally, was it something you received any professional help with? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I definitely went to therapists, um, talked out a few of my situations and things that I was thinking about and they gave me, you know, help and insight of how to deal with going forward if I do get in a space of you know, being um, in anxiety or depression, um, you know, how to deal with those things and um, to know that, you know, I'm, you know, I'm a person, I'm a person and everybody goes through things. I feel like a lot of people don't know that, you know, um, they're not alone and a lot of people are, you know, dealing with things and, you know, it's life, but, you know, um, those dark clouds and rainy days don't last forever, you know. And it's all about your attitude and how you approach situations that will make you overcome. So, Depression, anxiety, is that what you just said? Yeah. Is this something you were diagnosed with or? No, I wasn't diagnosed, but it was something that I was experiencing for sure because I found myself being, you know, just down and just like, yo, what, what is going on? You know what I mean? So it was something that I definitely experienced um, and, you know, uh, another reason why I kind of, you know, um, fell back from indulging in, you know, sexual acts with other partners and stuff like that was because I just felt like I was uh, bringing on whatever spirits that they had on them um, to me. And it was affecting me, like, in a negative way. So, you know, I, I took a, I really took a break. Like, I went on semen retention. I did all of that. Like, I just like paused on all those because it was something that was like affecting me mentally and I wasn't happy at all. And I, you know, I experienced anxiety, I experienced depression. And it was just like, this, this is not me. Like I'm, I'm a happy guy. Like I'm not the type of person to walk around with my head down and stuff like that. But you know, being that I went through that, it was a, 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 a eye opener to me to know that I got to take a lot of things with my spirituality more serious. When it comes to the professional help, is this something you're currently uh, going through or is this something that's completed? Um, I would say it's completed, but, you know, I, I still, you know, I would say it's completed. I went, you know, I still would, would check in with a therapist here and there, you know, because, you know, it's always good to just let things get off your chest. Because sometimes I'm the type of person I, I hold things in sometimes and that's not healthy, but it's just how I deal with life. Um, but you know, and but when you talk to a therapist, it's like you know they give you different things or people that got wise counsel. You know what I mean? Because a therapist doesn't always have to be um, somebody that you don't know. It could be a pastor. It can be um, one of your one of your older siblings or older family members. Somebody that a friend or whatever. It could be you know that I feel like that's also forms of therapy too. Um, as long as somebody is giving you wise counsel, um, I feel like that's also a way of getting, you know, therapy. But just for clarification, you actually saw a professional. Yeah, yeah. I, I actually saw a professional. Yeah, I did. And what do you say to those that have never seen uh, a professional for mental health and say things like, uh, they didn't grow up where I grew up. They don't know my life they don't know things of that nature i can handle it on my own uh things of that nature i would say man us as people we have to um understand and realize that in life we all need somebody um you know um you need somebody to get to the next level you need somebody like we we can't do things on our own so and that includes mental health you know you gotta talk it out you gotta talk to people um, and sometimes it may be uncomfortable, but the things that are uncomfortable put us in better situations sometimes. 
You know what I mean? The things that make us uncomfortable and the risks that we take in life um, are the things that change our lives forever. So, you know, if you don't take that risk or put yourself in that uncomfortable situation to finding help, um, you know, yeah, they may not have went through exactly everything that you went through, but we're all human beings and we all experience some type of um, the same feelings and emotions. So if they're able to give you an insight or advice on how to deal with different things, I feel like it's, it's you know, I feel like it would be not smart to take heed, you know, or listen to those things because it can be beneficial to you and help you in the long run. So, Were you one of those people that said those things at first? Were you anti-professional and things of that nature? You were open to that, right? I away. was pretty open to it. And the reason being is because I've always had an open mind to, you know, listening to different people's perspectives um, and stuff like that. So I wanted to know, my biggest thing was knowing that I'm not alone and I don't, I'm not um, experiencing these things. Like I'm not solely, it's just, I'm the only one experiencing depression, you know what I mean? Or I'm the only one having these certain dark, uh, dark thoughts and stuff like that. So um, when I reached out, it, it definitely was something that really helped me because you know, I realized that everybody goes through it, you know, um, at different points and periods in their life. So. And when it comes, last question about the professionals, was this something you sought out on your own or was it recommended to go seek it, a professional? It was recommended um, for sure because I'm very proudful, I would say. Um, but my mother and my sister just saw um, my, my spirit. It wasn't the same, you know. Um, so they, you know, my mom and my sister are very spiritual women. Um, and they saw it immediately and was like, yo, bro, you're not, you know, my sister was like, yo, bro, you're not yourself. And my mom was like, son, I don't know what's going on. Um, and you know, I, I have a pretty open communication with my mom, but I just didn't want to worry my mom, um, too much because I know she has a lot going on herself. So it was just like, you know, when, when they saw it, it was just immediately like, you know, my mom was like, I'm going to recommend you to this therapist. I want you to go to her. Um, and it helped. And I'm, I'm, I'm grateful and appreciative of that. So I love you, Ma. Appreciate that for that. You know, appreciate that. Now you mentioned God here. Mm -hmm. Do you follow a religion by any chance? Um, I'm non-denomination, but I am spiritual. I do believe um, in certain uh, laws and statutes and um, commandments and things that you should do as people. So. And was this line of thinking something you chose or how you were raised? Um, it was how I raised, but also how I was chose, because I still had to make the decision on whether I'm going to follow that or not. So um, it was ultimately how I was raised. But, you know, um, I still, as a grown up to this day, have to make the choice to make the right decisions. So it's still a, it's a choice as well. And raised on the mother's side of your family, father's both, side of your family? Both of my parents had me in the church when I was young. My mom and my dad, you know, we all went to the same church. Um, and, you know, it just stuck with me. Um, I wouldn't say that I'm perfect. Um, I'm still trying to figure out things for myself. Um, but, you know, uh, for the most part, the basic principles and uh, laws of life, I pretty much understand. So it stuck with me. And just for clarification, was that a non-denominational Christian church? Yeah, non-denominational. 